Sydney's number one podcast, West Underground. Hello and welcome to another episode of West Underground. Today we are joined by none other than Noon Shift. That's a clappy button you can't hear that. Oh, that's but we were clapping you in here. <laughs> you. And we're joined by Nick and Chai. How are you boys? Very yeah, good. Not too bad. How are you going, mate? Yeah, not bad, not bad. Now, you have you came here, Nick, back in the very, very early days when we were doing this and um, we just started and it was a, it was a bit rough and gruff and... And uh, and now you're back on. Yeah. I was so impressed, nonetheless. Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah. It was all right, yeah, the very first time, I thought it was fucking cool. Oh, it's cheers, man. <laughs> very professional looking right now, yeah. Oh, cheers, boys. Well, we're not professional, though. So. Well, we're trying. You've got, you got to have the balance then. Yeah. 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 Like all the gear. No fucking idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, welcome in anyway, boys. Uh, Hamish, especially, has been on about you guys coming in for... Since we, the studio set up and all that, he's like, "Gotta get noon shift, gotta get noon shift." Awesome. And then you were like, "Came in an hour before noon," and I like that a lot. <laughs> yeah. Respect that. Pretty, pretty <laughs> off brand, honestly. Yeah. Like, yeah. This is the earliest podcast we've ever done. <laughs> yeah, yeah, literally. I like wow. it. I could get used to it. Yeah, I feel like Sunday afternoon is probably a bit more of a vibe. Just well, no, because we always want to fall asleep on a Sunday afternoon. Oh, is that so like? obviously, this comes out like on a Thursday or Friday, depending on when we fancy it coming out. Mm. But. Uh, yeah, there's the, it was my idea to do Sundays. I was like, yeah, Sunday's a good day for records. And yeah. I've spent so many of them hungover. <laughs> and I think, like, why didn't I choose a Tuesday night or something? You oh, know what I mean? Yeah. But, no, I think Sunday's good. I feel like revitalized. Like, I personally go out on, like, a Friday night. Mm. I've had my Saturday to be hungover. Yeah. Gone for my run this morning. I'm feeling fresh. You, I'm going to say, when you, you look like you've been exercising today. Yeah, yeah. literally. Yeah, like yeah. an hour ago. Yeah. Good on you. Thank you. <laughs> Because yeah. I felt like crap yesterday. I, went, I had a 7-Eleven sausage roll this yeah. morning. Say that again, sorry. 7-Eleven sausage roll. This oh, mate, that's that's the best breakfast in the world. Yeah. Breakfast the champions. Yes, that's it. Yeah. Breakfast the champions. I'm very jealous of you, Chai, because most of your hobbies are like exercise related. Yeah. Yeah, like surfing, skating. I just like, skate, huh? Yeah, a little, yeah, like not like trick skating or anything, but like skate around. Yeah, you know, A to B. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's it's a lot less from when when Hamish and I first met because. At that time, I was, didn't drive, but now I drive. Yeah. But that was my vehicle back in the day, just skateboard. skating everywhere. I am um, in lockdown. I bought a skateboard. Yeah. Um. So when I was a kid, I used to love Bam Margera. I had a jackass. Oh yeah. So I like bought his like album board. I bought the exact same skateboard that I had when I was like twelve. <laughs> right. Is that expensive? I, it was, and I've been on it maybe three times. Mm. Yeah. Did you fall off? No, but you know, like going down like a hill. Yep. I have got no balls. Whatsoever now. You need balls for that. Uh, you need yeah. balls. Yes, yeah. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I don't know how to stop. Like, <laughs> you know, like. <laughs> yeah, you have to practice stopping for a, like a long time you before you that, can actually go yeah, on. Yeah, like I was like, and I, was, I was quite good at that when I was younger. <laughs> I could still kickflip. Yeah. That was there. Yeah. I just, you know, A to B is not there anymore. Mm. <laughs> not there at whatsoever. Yeah, you used to ride the skateboard that I've never seen since where the wheels on the back were kind of like a ripstick. The front. You, oh, was yeah. that on the front? Yeah, yeah. It's got a fancy truck system on the front end um, to replicate like a surf carve. You are into surfing, aren't you? Yeah, but yeah. To, to, be, to be honest, like in the past two years, like since COVID, I actually moved a little bit west from the beach. So mm. I'm 30 minutes away now. So I haven't been surfing as much as I used to, but I still like to call it yeah. a hobby because it's, you know, it's still in it's your a, heart, yeah, it's right? still yeah. in my heart. Yeah, even though I don't go as often. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. Have you, are you any good at surfing? No, no. <laughs> I lived in Dubbo, man. There weren't too many waves to ride. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, is it because you have to be outside in the sunshine? <laughs> <laughs> like, it's like maybe, maybe like 
Oh, like water skiing, I've done it like a lot. Oh, yeah. yeah, 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 on dams, You're but like such a country boy, yeah. Right? <laughs> but like, boy. but surfing, nah, like nah. Knife, yeah, yeah, and the fucking skis, <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and then the biscuit. On the, on the biscuit, yeah. I'm I'm fucking great right at. See, I, I've always wanted to go surfing. I lied to someone once and told them I surfed mm. just because I thought. Yeah, it, do, like it, it does yeah, work. Like it does everything. work. Like, oh yeah, you're going out. I'm like, yeah, I'm hitting fucking twelve footers. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is the body of a surfer that gets out in twelve foot. Definitely, yeah. yeah. 100%. <laughs> I, when I got here, um, like, so I, I went from being like a musician at home to not many people like have this look. You know mm, what I mean? Mm. A bit of a novelty. Get yeah. to Australia, you're seeing like surfers. Six packs, long hair, and all that, and I was like, "I'm, I'm the odd one out here." <laughs> <laughs> now, Nick, you're sure I are born and raised, aren't you? Yeah, bloody ace, mate. Well, yeah, yeah. Always, uh, yeah, always grew up around this uh, Western Sydney area. Yeah. Um, yeah, from the I, area. I like it, yeah. From the area. From the area. <laughs> from the area. <laughs> um, are you? <laughs> did you surf when you were growing up? Like, are you far away from the water? Yeah, pretty far away. Oh, I okay. grew up like out in. Started off in the hills, but then. Kind of moved out to you know like west uh, like Parramatta area, so oh. not too many ways around there, and I wouldn't get in the fucking Parramatta River Hell no. unless you want to get like toxic waste. For some for some reason, I thought you were in the Shire. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I guess I'm like the what like Sutherland and shit. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you give off that vibe. <laughs> what's, what's the Sutherland vibe? Oh, they just a not, a, not a lot to worry about. I think. Yeah. The Sutherland vibe. Maybe, maybe that's how you. Anyway, this isn't the safe and podcast. I do like the beard though. Oh, thanks. Yeah, grew it out. Oh, lockdown last year. I just, yeah, I was like, fuck, let's give it a try. Yeah, it's, it, it's been longer, hasn't it? Yeah, or it's it, gotten a bit longer. Yeah, I used to keep it a bit shorter, but yeah. then I stopped cutting it. And cool. you know, hence, yeah, yeah, we I can't grow facial hair on this podcast. Need to. Yeah, I'm follically challenged. Mm. Mm. That's right. You're not missing out on much. Oh. Just missing out on getting it's got fucking very hairy balls. Shit. <laughs> Nothing on his face. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing on. <laughs> Have you checked? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah. Guess, like, you don't want to say we're not very professional in here. Hashtag me too. But uh, guys, you just released a new tune. Yeah. Yeah. How's that been going? Yeah, it's been going pretty well. You are happy with the uh, reception? Yeah, it's been pretty yeah, well. Yeah. 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 Um. Yeah. I think like people seem to like it. So. Yeah. That's good. You always want people yeah. to. Yeah, <laughs> if people like it, that's a start, you know. Yeah. Well, no one's fucking sent us a message being like, "Dude, this song absolutely sucks." Why'd you? <laughs> no one's done that. So, yeah. but and some some, some prick at home just went, "I'm gonna fucking do that now." <laughs> <laughs> Whenever you do anything, you always have the fear that somebody is gonna do that, right? Like I will. Maybe you guys don't, but I'm always a little bit paranoid that somebody's gonna do that with anything I do, yeah. and then like, and then I have this anxiety for some reason, and then it hasn't happened. Ever mm. touch wood, but yeah. it's always in the back of your mind yeah. that something's going to put very it down. With people putting out their own art, and a lot of the times it's their emotions mm. that they put out, you know. So that's fair enough, you know. It's it's. Uh, I just think it's hard to take criticism. Have you ever had a bad review? Has anyone ever reviewed a gig? Have you a bad review? I've never had a gig reviewed, but when we um, <laughs> I'll review a gig for you. Oh fuck! <laughs> go it was it, very good. <laughs> <laughs> it was good cheap so good yeah, gig. Yeah. <laughs> what a beard yeah oh. that man had a skateboard on his back <laughs> that could be your thing by the way got to have a fucking skateboard thing, you know? Know? yeah have skate you, onto the stage you've never yeah. had a, uh, anyone review a gig no no oh we've had yeah we've had gig reviews never a bad one though oh okay mm. but when we go to do um like press shit when we release uh, a single like every time that we've done it so far this year um the guys who are doing publicity for us they put it all in a spreadsheet and they're like Right, here's who we're going to talk to. Mm. We're going to hit them up and see what they think of the song and the story around it. And, uh, you know, they're nice enough to get all the feedback that they get and put it into this spreadsheet. Mm. So we look at the spreadsheet, we open it up, and um, it says, all right, this outlet, whatever the fuck the name is, then declines. They don't like the song. Oh. And then you go to the feedback column and they're like, this really did not push the envelope at all. It oh. sounds boring, oh. blah, blah, blah. Oh, so you get some nasty here, stuff. But come here, come here, give me your hands. Come here, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. You nasty bastards out there. <laughs> yeah. Heart oh, and soul, say that. heart yeah, and soul. He's putting enough. into this. You nasty bastards. Yeah, I don't mind it though, because like, it makes you feel good to know someone 
said something nasty about you. Yeah, that's, that, that's it's better than saying nothing. Like if they just say, it's true. Yeah, yeah. That is sometimes point, it feels yeah. like they just have to say something. Like they can mm. just not like the song. Yeah. It's like that's mm. true. a reason at it, least. It's a funny least. one with yeah. with this. Is like you'll get views on things, but the likes and I'd rather people be disliking the. Vi- I'm not. I'm saying don't do that because it'll fuck up the algorithm. <laughs> but like the video if you're watching it because it helps us. Yeah, if you like oh, and comment. You're watching it anyway. Just Throw the little like button on there. Create a YouTube account. You know what I mean? You're not nine. Just create one. Yeah. Give us a like. Thank you. But uh, <laughs> yeah, the, the review thing's a funny one, man. We, we, we released the song and uh, it was like, yeah, it's not bad. But we've heard this from the, these guys before. They need to change it up. <laughs> like, did we post that? Or <laughs> <laughs> you just ignore that one? Oh, like fully published it and everything? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Was really nice of them. Wow. All right. So you play in a band? Yeah, yeah. What uh, are you the, guys called? The Grand Union. Oh, like based out this one? Yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck nice. Yeah. What kind of style is it? Yeah, what would you say it is? Um, it's really, like, really good. No, it's... Uh, like, I like that style. Like, it, it, uh, uh, like it, English rock, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. English rock. Like, like a, it's, it's it sounds very, like, British. Like, it sounds like you're a, um like a, you know, like a, like a, 70s kind of group. Yeah, like a 70s, 70s yeah. Kind of yeah. Group. Stuff your dad would love. <laughs> <laughs> Adele for the boys. <laughs> so I, so I said Adele, Adele for the boys. That's what it is, really. Yeah, because Jack struggles to write happy songs. Uh, yeah, uh, that's a bit like yeah. it, isn't it? It's because I spend me Sundays in here. <laughs> <laughs> bit of sunlight, all the fucking songs will be yeah. happy, I reckon. Plus, Lizzie's just dad. Oh. So, you know. Rest in peace, I, I, You might see me cry on this podcast. Oh, no. For the views, man. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> to the clickbait. <laughs> yeah, just massive tears. <laughs> now, Nick, you write oh, no. happy sounding songs, right? With but the I feel like the lyrics are re- like um, a bit sad, but the sounds happy, right? But yeah. Yeah, like your song "Save Me," right? I th- feel like is a little bit dark that you wrote years ago, yeah. but it had like it. It sounds it sounds happy when you listen to it, but then if you start breaking down the lyrics, you're probably like, oh, this isn't. Yeah, it's got to be a real fucking bummer for people who like the song or something. They're like, oh, this song's so cool. Fucking, I love dancing to it. And they go and check the lyrics. They're like, wow, that's actually <laughs> fucking sad. <laughs> but yeah, I guess um, I remember the guitarist we had um, in Noon Shift back in the day. Like, he would say stuff like, oh, I like it when the songs sound really upbeat, but then you go and check the lyrics and it's more melancholy. Yeah, it brings so levels to there's it. There's a lot yeah. of music does, like yeah, that, like, bit, especially in the hopefully. 80s, you know, like pop hits mm. that are really depressing mm. songs, but they were just like... Doo, 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 yeah, the doo, 80s doo, was so like, fun, like, eh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like the Beatles were quite good at that. Like, it sounds happy, but it's a little bit dark sometimes, and, like, it's a salt and pepper thing. Like, mm. happy yeah. but sad. But you were saying, yeah, like, yeah. that same me, you were saying, like, help by the Beatles. Yeah. Like, i seen Paul McCartney talking about that, and he's like... John's like actually having a mental breakdown. Oh, is that really what it's about? Uh, help! I need some more help. Not just that, like he's he's proper struggling. Mm. Yeah, but I they're like, oh, what a yeah. song, John! Yeah. What a yeah, song! Right, tune, mate. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Bloody hell, John! I know the scouts is for And we're back. And we're back. <laughs> yeah. So sometimes we have technical difficulties oh, on the yeah, podcast. The yeah, thing, so. yeah. Especially when people keep whistling. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so when when did you join the band, Mom? Um, well, Nick messaged me about June last year, twenty twenty one, and then my debut gig with them was in December um, at Three Wise Monkeys. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So it's pretty much been since December. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, been some fucking great timing on that one. Asked you in June, went into lockdown for fucking three months in July. Yeah, but it was kind of good because then I just. Every day had nothing to do and just practiced, just oh, learned yeah. all the songs. And there's so many songs. Yeah, I'm probably still not even halfway through like mm. the old repertoire. But as Nick says, don't stress too much because we're working on a new album. There's demand for these songs for the gigs. Those older songs, don't stress about them just yeah. yet. So yeah, yeah. Oh, what's, nice. the, what's the process of the album being like? Uh, that like must the, be pretty stressful, it, man. Or? Must be pretty stressful. Like yeah, to have made it. Yeah. Um, yeah. What it was a really I mean, there was ups and downs. Yeah. Um, it went, like, so I guess the story is, we uh, I wrote pretty much all the songs in towards the end of 2020. Yeah. Then we demoed them 
and had the demos done by early 2021. And then we just kind of spent the next couple of months listening to the demos and just getting a good idea of what we want to change about them to, mm. you know, have a, a good final recording. And we booked studio time for like July mm. 2020, 2021. Oh. 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, Yeah, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, yeah, it got pushed back till like December to get this album made. So it was weird just sitting on these songs and yeah. just having them stew. I mean, yeah. it wasn't a bad thing though. Like just having. Did you time. keep going back to them now? A little bit, I think. Um, I, I I did spend a bit more time thinking about them. Yeah, and I guess just thinking about the approach to it. Yeah, like um, I guess originally I wanted to get someone else to mix the album because mm. I was like, I'm not fucking doing. So I mixed the first two EPs and I was like, I'm not fucking doing that again. I'm not that good. and I'm, I don't want to spend the time on it. Um, but then lockdown happened and I was like, well, I've got nothing else to do. Mm. So I may as well mm. learn how to mix these songs a bit better. So in the end, I finished. Yeah, I ended up mixing the album. And that probably wouldn't have happened if the oh, lockdown. Oh, you mixed the album yourself? Yeah. Jack, you should have seen his stories during lockdown. Like I remember watching your stories, Nick, and seeing you like have like a AC30, you know, Vox amp in one room, and then having a big XLR cord, the cables and stuff running into another yeah, room, and like you, you, yeah, you, you like turned honestly, your house honestly, into a no, studio. Mad respects, mix it yeah. Oh, I can't yeah. even. You know when the when when they're like doing it into my vocals, when like confident the vocals. Yeah, yeah. I leave. <laughs> I love the sound of my own voice, but even I can't. I can't fucking do that. Mm. It's hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But at least you know what you want, though. Well, that's the good thing. Yeah, I guess there's like small things, like mm. you know, if you want the reverb to be a bit longer after yeah. this one vocal line or whatever, you can work that in. So mm. the back and forth isn't so much. Yeah. You yeah, better yeah, not get a bad time. review for this album, you know. Yeah. That's a lot of fucking. That's a lot of hours put into it, man. It's not like you turned up, played your songs, you know. You're having a pot noodle while they're mixing it or whatever. <laughs> like, that's if if anyone out there gives them a bad review on this album, fight me, fight okay, me, yeah. and Hamish. <laughs> just the one person. Hamish has no say in this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. I just uh, <laughs> Hamish, Hamish is the it's player. not even debatable. <laughs> Hamish is like, oh, we're doing this again. <laughs> Stop fighting with music journalists. <laughs> <laughs> what's what's the name of the album? Uh, it's called Steering Wheels on Summer's Day. Oh, nice. Wow. Yeah. Steering I mean, Wheels on Summer's Day. Yeah. Fuck. Hot. Hot. <laughs> exactly. That's what I'm yeah. thinking of. Yeah. It, this, this album's about to be fire. That's, that's what fire oh. yeah. yeah. Will's like, um, our drummer, he's like, why is it called that? Is it because it's hot shit? And I was like, oh, I didn't even think of that. Mm. But yeah. like, I don't know. The point of it's like, can't remember. Something <laughs> 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 along the lines of like, it's like when you just get in the car on a sunny day, much like today, mm. you wouldn't know. Because <laughs> it's a fucking basement. So <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> it's like a little bit of light pouring from the edge of the yeah. curtains, but it's nice. I guess it's just like the idea of getting into the car on a day like that and just driving, yeah. kind of clearing your head. Yeah. Um, yeah. Listen yeah. to the album. Going yeah. on a summer road trip. That's what I fucking thought. I was like, yeah. if we call the album Steering Wheels on Summer's Days. People will think yeah. about it when they're... Fucking, yeah, exactly. In that Releasing mindset, in October. Yeah. And then people will be like, all right, let's get in the car. What am I going to listen to? Oh, well. Yeah, good timing, October as well. Yeah. album. Yeah. And then... Yeah. It's a good idea. You've got me so <laughs> excited for summer, by the way. You know, yeah. you know I, mean? I was like, I can't wait for summer. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait. Oh man. Yeah. Do you know I like yeah, um still be cold in here though? Yeah. Do you remember years ago, like Nick, the old cars and stuff that like uh that do it, you know, wouldn't have air conditioners and you had to and uh maybe even had like a metal steering wheel and stuff like that and just yeah. getting in and the fucking How old are you? Yeah, mate. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, 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 <laughs> I, I, I Marty McFly well, over here. Well Dubbo's a bit Go like to the future. Dubbo's a bit like Cuba, like we got lots of old cars oh, in, in there, yeah. So like old Holdens and stuff like that, and you get in the oh. you get in the Holdens and things like that and you put your hand on the fucking steering wheel and they'll be like steel and you'd be like, Fuck It's forty degrees outside and magnifying the steering wheel. And that's what I'm thinking of. I'm just thinking. I of never know if he's bullshit me about Dubbo, you know. I never know. I never know if he's bullshit me. Go about see it Dubbo. yourself. <laughs> Honestly, he talks about Dubbo, and I just go, really? It could be fucking. 
could be completely different. You know all I see? You ever... Um, you know Of Mice and Men? Did you have to read that book in school? Oh, yeah. It yeah. rings a bell. Yeah. But like, like, it rims, like, that <laughs> is how I imagine Dubbo to be. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Google it. You'll see like, what I mean. That's how I imagine like Dubbo to be. Men, just a farm. Uh, yeah, just like that. a big farm. A few racists on there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so you haven't been, uh, I'm guessing. You know no. what I'm saying, Dubbo Zoo? Yeah, that's 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 the attraction. Like ride the bike around the zoo yeah. and shit. That's what you do, right? Yeah. Do they still do that? Yeah, you no, can I even get the buggy. <laughs> Shout out to Dubbo Zoo. This is, this is what I... Hey, uh, Hugh, I'll put an image in of this. This is what I imagine it's a little guy. That's not very far from the truth. <laughs> <laughs> Just <laughs> wheat fields. Just John yeah. Malkovich live out that way too. Hey, Rich. Hey, Rich, with this metal steering wheel. <laughs> <laughs> Is it like actually made of metal or did the leather or something just come? Well, off? yeah, like I imagine they would have put leather on it at some point of time and then the leather's just kind of like cracked and shit over the years and then you've. I'm not, I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. So, how, how long has Noon Shift been a, been a band, man? How long has the project been going? I guess since. I feel like this is your baby, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. This really is your baby. Yeah. I guess I got pregnant in 2014 and. <laughs> been a joy in my life ever since yeah, yeah. Oh, my little baby a little baby yeah so for like hopefully the dingo doesn't grab it <laughs> oh for shit for people well, that are just edit, edit that out no nah, leave it <laughs> <That's all right. laughs> well, i mean it happened um for those who were just <laughs> shooting in now like new, nick years ago you won a competition for um you know like the battle of the bands contest is that what it's called yeah, yeah, or I youth guess we rock. Did a few. Yeah, youth rock. We did that. Yeah, that's kind of how we ended up recording our first EP. And yes. you were how old when you did that? Sixteen, when we did the. So we did two years in a row. We did six. Uh, tw- yeah, so I was sixteen when I played the first one, and seventeen when I did the second one. Do you look back on those songs when you're like sixteen and think that went bad, or do you look back at them and go, "Oh my god, what was that song about?" Bit of both, yeah. yeah. Just think, how yeah, fuck did I ever write something that terrible? Yeah. And then the fucking sit down the next day and you write something equally as bad, you know? So yeah. It's, it's still in you. Well, you know, th- those those songs come and go. They come yeah. and go. I, I I used to write a lot of poetry, right? I fucking definitely thought I was Jim Morrison when I was 16, <laughs> right? And um, I, th- like a memory came up on my Facebook and it was from my first ever gig in 2013. Oh, really? And I was like, who the fuck did I think I was? You know what I mean? It was... Yeah. Like a big poem in a side. I wanted to be, I thought I was Jim Morrison, but it's embarrassing for me to look at that. But at the time, I thought it was like, Fire. were you just like on stage reading off this poetry? It was just depressing, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's when it started, really. But yeah, so have, have you got anything you still play from back then? Yeah. Yeah? Uh, yeah, actually, a little bit. So a few of the songs off the first EP. Yeah. Um, I think the oldest song is one called The Well which we wrote in 2016. Mm. And then we ended up recording that one. We kept playing that live for a good while too. So it, it feels weird too. I guess I don't fucking, I can't imagine what like 40, 50 year old musicians feel like <laughs> writing, like playing songs they wrote when they were fucking mm. like 19. Mm. It must feel weird. Like you got to in some way still connect to that person. Yeah. Even though you've like probably grown massively. But it is a, uh, yeah. You know, like a, you know, like when a band has a hit, and you think that that's the that's the that will always be in the set now, always yeah. there. <laughs> if you're like the Stones, you're fucking. Oh, here we go again. Here yeah. we go again. You know what I mean? Just wheeling out, oh, and especially with the one-hit wonders. Mm. Yeah. It's like, and that's all people want to When you say. only have one song, that's going to fucking suck. Yeah, imagine like you, you, you've you got this big tour, you've got this show on, and none of the crowd is singing any of your songs. And then your one hit wonder comes on and yeah. it blows up. Never and then the next. You up, yeah. Yeah. And then the next song, yeah, the whole crowd is on. silent. <laughs> yeah, Rick's pretty cool about that, though. Rick Astley. Yeah, like, you know, yeah, he had an like, album like, a couple yeah, of years like, ago, and it was actually really good, man. Like, yeah. really, really good. I'm going to have a fuck with Rick Astley. Yeah. Fuck, maybe if you go. Never gonna give. Yeah, never gonna give. Oh, fuck, that's a good song. <laughs> it is actually pretty good. Yeah, it's fucking yeah. up. If there was a song you could have wrote, like a song in history, and you think, I wish I wrote that song, What's that? what song is it? Oh, fuck. 
Is that a question you ask him? No, no, no. It's just, it's just, just in me mind. Yeah. Fucking came to you. It's like a good little first date type question. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Would you know. rather? Yeah. <laughs> um, fuck. You go first. Zoned out. <laughs> <laughs> what song would you Great song. wish you had written? Like, if you could have written any song. Mm. It's probably got to be a Michael Jackson song. Oh, yeah? Probably Off the Wall. Oh. Yeah. Boom, ba dum 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 ba dum 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 Boom, ba dum Yeah. It's pretty freaking funky. That's a fucking good song. Yeah. That's just, I weren't expecting that, I'm going to yeah. be honest. What were yeah. you expecting? Well, I'm a, I am a big Michael Jackson fan. I'm a Michael Jackson fan, but that's yeah. like a deep cut. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I was thinking you would be you would have a lot more money if you wrote Thriller. Yeah. If you chose Thriller, you'd be set for life. You could have the... The way you make me feel if I yeah. was mm. Michael Jackson. Mm. Yeah, imagine oh. being the person that wrote that. Did Michael write that? Nah, he song? never wrote anything, man. What? Yes, he, he did. Never, he, oh. ne- he went writing shit all, oh, man. Are yeah. Really no one used did. to write... No one used to write their own songs. Well, maybe it, maybe he was more in the producing side, just like adding the little <laughs> <laughs> the ad libs. We talk about Michael Jackson so often. I know, I know. Michael Jackson oh, and Safin. That's it. I I I was really heartbroken because I thought Quincy Jones came up with like a lot of the arrangements and stuff like that. Because you know he's always credited as that. Yeah. They were hiring like so many different piano players, like at the time, to come in and be like, "Oh, what what would you, what do you think to add to this?" And then they would play what they thought, and you'd be like, "Yep, get out." Or, or yep, yeah, that's brilliant. We're keeping that in. We're going to have that. Yep, can bring in, bring in guy forty six. What do you have to play on the piano? Like, insane. And then not paying them. Is that right? Yeah. Well, I don't. Know. Someone played a solo on a song. I can't. Remember what song it is? And he's not credited. And he oh, paid. Eddie Van Halen. Yeah. No, no. It was like an unknown, like a session guitarist, but he didn't pay him. Oh wow. Yeah. Was it a big song or something? I think all the songs are bigger. Not off the wall. Like that was such a. I like that. I like it. It says a lot. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Liberian girl. Go on. Do you know what hurts me sometimes is you think like Michael Jackson had so much talent at like 10 years old. Not even. It's it's younger. Yeah. It's not, how is that even fair? Like he's just. It's not. (laughs) I think you were talented when you were eight. Not that talented. You were just in Dubbo. (laughs) Probably and also didn't have a. (laughs) Father that abused you to, to be the talent as well. well no, he, did. Like he, did. <laughs> <laughs> he did. He nah, did. Nah. <laughs> Sorry, Hamish, your dad. <laughs> no, nah, my dad's alright. <laughs> but well, maybe, but, yeah, but like it's like you're getting upset at your dad. Like a diamond or you know, all that shit. <laughs> getting upset at your dad, like why did you beat me more? So it could have been my. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what I was thinking. <laughs> I love my dad, but you should have hit me more. Definitely. We could have, had, we could have been rolling in it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. For anyone who's triggered by that, I apologize. Yeah, definitely. It's weird to think, though, like, like that some of the, like, all that great music might not have happened if it didn't come from a place of him being abused as a kid or, mm. like, mm. pressured or forced. Mm. I, don't I mean, the, the, like, yeah. I think the talent probably still would have been there to oh, some extent, sure. but, you know, like, they were already on the TV, like, when he was seven. Yeah. So, like, they were being pushed to be on that stage as well. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. It's a weird thing. I eh? but was uh, oh. so you, you're a big Michael Jackson fan. We've we've established this. Sure. Yeah. Where were you when he died? I was on holidays in a hotel, and um, I saw the the news on the television, and I was very sad because my mum broke the news that. That means we're not going to be able to see the This Is It concert. Oh, oh shit, you were that. going to This Is It? We were, we, because my mum's also, she's she's the big Michael Jackson fan. And yeah, I was only like, what, seven or nine? Wow. But um, yeah, and I was I was upset, yeah. My uncle lied and told me he got me tickets to that, but he hadn't. Yeah. yeah. And then I think he was glad when Michael Jackson died. He went, fuck God. Yeah, my mum was probably the same. <laughs> <laughs> didn't get him the tickets. Yeah, my mum was probably the same. She got to see him twice. I got oh. to see him none. So oh. that's not fair. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I remember I I I had a day off school when he died. My mum was like <laughs> we were like watching the T V mm. and uh I was like, Is he really dead, Mum? Mm. She was like I was like fourteen. And uh, <laughs> yeah, she she was like, You don't have to go in tomorrow if you don't want to <laughs> And I stayed off. Oh wow. I was broken up about it, Mum. Mm. Damn. More broken up than I was about Lizzie. 
know what I mean? Yeah. Well, it's because you kind of expect him that, maybe, you know. Yeah, well, I guess Michael wasn't 96 when he died. Yeah. It, it The shock. Yeah. 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 I think I was too young to really understand it, like, mm. the, the sadness of it and, like, the shock, but... It's weird. Like, I still remember where I was. Yeah, yeah. Like, I was just like it's just a big, races, big occasion. You know? you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. It's like these these times happen in life. Like we, chances are we'll see, like like the, look the monarchy now. We'll probably see another two kings in our lifetimes, right? Yeah, that's yeah. Because Charles seventy three with his big sausage fingers. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah, Fucking that's a good gout's point. gonna yeah. get you, Charlie. Gout's <laughs> gonna get you. <laughs> King Charles Spaniel over there, but like it's. We're going to see, so, it, but I think what's weird about the Queen one is, like, everyone's just known the Queen. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, I guess. And my grandma's, like, like 20. fucking 80. Mm. Yeah, everyone's known she, the Queen. So like, all their life, it's been the Queen. Yeah, you know and if I mean? they're older, they've probably, like, got dementia or something and aren't really with yeah. it to even realise that she's gone or whatever, but yeah. it's, it, the whole world, it's kind, it kind of feels like the Matrix might be resetting, you know? Mm. <laughs> yeah, which is scary. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, what what brings back memories too when we're talking about the Michael Jackson thing a second ago is I was devastated the year before because like because I think that was when Steve Irwin died mm. of memory and that yeah, was like a yeah, huge a yeah. That, yeah. Do you remember? Yeah. yeah, I remember feeling really sad about that. Yeah. yeah, like my nana picked me up from school and I was like, she told me that he died. Yeah, and I, it was like the first time I ever really got it. Yeah, like because I was six at the time, I was like, you don't really understand death. Mm. Yeah, yeah that exactly. Young. That or was like, sad when he died. Yeah, yeah Steve Irwin yeah. and Michael Jackson were my first two yeah. experiences yeah. of yeah. exactly what yeah. you're talking about. Yeah, because they're very close together. Yeah, yeah. Have you seen our uh, John Williamson play True Blue? Oh, I remember watching that like on the TV at the time. Uh, oh, and then the Wiggles came out and like <laughs> did some songs for at, at the funeral at the zoo, and it was just like, mm. yeah, like they packed up the um packed up the Ute one last time. Yeah, while they played, it was like, yeah. Would you guys do that? Would you play Steve's zoo? Like play at Where's the zoo? The zoo? Yeah, so it's up in Queensland, zoo? isn't it? Australia Zoo. Australia yeah. Zoo. Like just for, for the Patreon special. Let's go. <laughs> We're better. I mean, would you guys do it? Like for like a memorial thing or just for the fucking sake of going up and having a gig? Yeah, well, because I know Taronga Zoo do, do shows there. That's like true, you can yeah. do shows at Taronga. So you must oh, be able to do... Oh, yeah, yeah, like he, everyone's played there. many events yeah. Yeah, of all sorts, yeah. Oh, I've always liked those kinds, like those gigs where it's not at an actual venue. They're like, fuck, let's make this place that's yeah. not meant for music yeah. and make it... <laughs> that's cool. Like, like the Duke of Mall. <laughs> 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 Is that what it's like? Yeah, have you not played there? No, I've never played there, but apparently it's like it's the easy. stage is on the floor. Yeah, yep. and there's like a fucking sheets of glass windows. What's that? Then there's glass windows right yeah. next to it. I think oh, it'd be yeah. wrong. It's awesome. What's that? It's awesome. But, you know, know. Let's fucking let's go. Not not for a gig. Oh. <laughs> what about uh, you know, Goat Island? Like, have you ever seen like uh, like Foo Fighters? They played it. This goat island it's in Sydney, so you have the Harbour Bridge there, and then it's just like this little shit shipping like yard island. Yeah, and they're like, "Oh, let's do a gig there." So they had to fucking cart everyone over to it by a boat, and like it was just yeah, maybe That's like cool. a thousand people or so. Yeah, if that, just hanging out on this little island, and I think it ended up being like a three and a half hour gig. Oof, wow. I just like it. It was like different. Yeah, it was different. Yeah. 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 Memorable. Yeah, very yeah. memorable. Plus, Definitely. it looks fucking awesome. If you like, look it up, it's just the band's playing and it's like a fucking perfect afternoon and the Harbour Bridge is just in the background. Mm. Oh, oh, beautiful. That's it's nice. Lovely. I think there is yeah. something good about the, like, the change of venue, yeah. like where to play. Like, the, that's the thing with the Beatles, like the rooftop thing. Mm. Really, unless you were on a roof, that was shit for you. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're like, Wait, what's that? You know what I mean? <laughs> like, the idea of just going and playing somewhere, oh. that's not, uh, like, your typical fucking place of music. Can we bring yeah. back, like, out the front of the opera house gigs again? Because they don't do that anymore, but they used to. Do you remember? Yeah, I remember hearing about a few. I've never been to any, but... Like, I remember, I think Powderfinger did it, the John Butler trio I did it. I think I'm seeing Isaac Monkeys. I think they're playing at the opera. I'm sure it's, it's outdoor. I think it's there. Out the front? I think so. Wow. That's cool. Yeah. 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 I think so. Yeah. Sorry if I'm wrong. Well, I think so. Yeah. Apparently a lot of people don't like outdoor gigs though. 
strangely. Sound. 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 Yeah, that's exactly what I was going to say. Yeah. Unless you've got lots of money yeah. to get like the best yeah. sound equipment. Yeah. 100%. Depends what time of year it is too and where yeah. you're playing because you don't want to be playing in mud and you don't want to be playing on like 40 degree concrete. <laughs> yeah, fuck that. Yeah. It's like dome shows, you know, when people do like stadium tours. Yeah. If you play a dome, the noise just carries up so it's not like it's awful for a gig. So but everyone's like, oh yeah, let's do a stadium. But yeah, fucking all out of sync. Shit. Yeah, the way that the sound travels. Yeah. yeah, it's a real fucking art. Like trying to figure out how to fucking put the speakers and everything mm. so it doesn't sound shit. Yeah, it's, it's weird. Like yeah, yeah. That's why you can never go wrong with a pub gig. Mm. Yeah, small space. Mm. Every pub ever sounds good. Yeah, shit. Pa. And never easy peasy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just, yeah, it's like it's fun shit. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like yeah. don't overcomplicate it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because when you start playing fields and stuff, they're putting in like delays in the speakers. Yeah, like, it's a whole fucking thing, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, yeah, but it looks cool. I guess it's it's weird, like when yeah. you, I guess, when you're experiencing live music, you want it to sound good, but I guess it's all a big trade off. Like, yeah, the priority, mm. at least for most, like on the whole, it's not like that. It has to sound perfect in the same way. Yeah, a fucking record might, but yeah, it's how weird. how it's close like, do you try and get that? What like do you ever do you prioritize the record over? Oh, I think I could sing this live. Um, you know what I mean? Like I it, it. Yeah, I get what you mean. I we recorded the song the other week that I cannot sing live. Oh really? But it sounds awesome. What makes it difficult to sing it's live? It's too high in the register oh, and right. it's like continuous. Right. And I should have known it when I wrote it, and I was like, I couldn't really sing it then. And then we recorded mm. it. And then we tried to play it live, and I was like, oh, no. Mm. <laughs> yeah. This is not in, in the cards for me, this yeah. song. Yeah. But it, the song is good. I, you know, I'd rather have the good song out of it than be able to do it. Well, yeah, I agree. Like, I reckon. I'll just Britney Spears, eh? Yeah, f- just fucking lip sync <laughs> it. Yeah. That's a real skill, you know? Is it? I mean, if you're going to be fucking lip syncing, you may as well start dancing as well. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, you know, like get the choreographer. Have you seen the video of Ozzy Osbourne? Which one? He's miming. No, I haven't. Yeah. Is it any good? Uh, so he's like nuts anyways, isn't he? He's like, <laughs> but like... What, like, so that's what his mouth is? No, doing. and then he, he talks, but there's no sound. <laughs> <laughs> right. So he's like bouncing around singing, but the vocal's perfect. And then he goes like that. And no, there's no sound. He's fucking miming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, like that sometimes. Do people still mime? I feel like it's like, is it still a thing? These it's days? it's a TV thing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, TV. Yeah. I know. I think the big word is. Are the French still doing the, it? The big word is. <laughs> French still doing it. Like those. Call me here, mate. Good on Number you. one in the game. Let's Number go. one in the game. <laughs> Fucking primo shit. <laughs> But seriously, the big word in TV <laughs> was when they say performing, like they'd be like Britney Spears <laughs> performing her new song. Yeah, it's it's, it's it, the that. word they use uh. is like specific to the fact that they're not fucking, they're not. It's not live. You know right. what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Like, can't, yeah. You can't say they're singing the song because they're fucking not. So let's just say performing. The performing yeah. the song, yeah. yeah. Technically performing. Yeah, it's bad. I remember so X Factor at home. Cheryl Cole. Bang Teddy. She was uh, like a judge on it. Yeah. And then she had a song out. And it's a singing show. Yeah. Oh. Mm. And she fucking mimed. On the singing show. On the singing show that she's a judge on. Yeah. Come on, Shezza. Have you ever gone back and watched all the countdown performances like over the years? Like top over in Top, top of the so, pops. Sorry, Pop of the Pops. That's what it is. Yeah, Top yeah. of the Pops was all mine. My, yeah. Have you seen Oasis when they did it? Yeah. <laughs> and like Liam's pretending to play guitar. Yeah. And, like, like, the the fucking something really similar as well. What's that, sorry? Nirvana, I think. Nirvana. Well, yeah, I think Pops, Dave, Dave Grohl was, like, singing, wasn't he? Like, jumped on, yeah. uh, I think. He was, like, yeah. fucking waving his arms around. Yeah. And, yeah. It's like, ridiculous, though. the drums were playing. A lot of it. So, you know, like, a big thing now is, like, like football clubs in England do this. You'll have a band on, like, before the game. Yeah. And All not, mom, do you reckon? Not live. Yeah. Not live. I feel like they haven't got the capability. Thing. Yeah, it's, a, it's hard. It's a tannoy system. It's like the old... Gigs when the Beatles were playing. Yeah. It's a tannoy system. You're hearing the song through speakers. Yeah. 
you're there pretending to play. They're, they're Sorry, guys. Enough. Sorry for letting that information out. <laughs> Miming. Blind bastards. <laughs> I, I, you know, when you're talking about the Aussie thing, that makes a lot of sense because I was just having flashbacks to like when I saw Black Sabbath on their like final tour, right? And Aussie comes out, he's like, Sydney, how are you? And then he goes into Paranoid, flawless, you know, and goes into War Pigs, flawless. And then the song finishes and he's like, you're doing good tonight, Sydney. You know, and he can't get his words out just to talk. And you're like... He hasn't been a great talker. Fucking hell, Sharon. Sh- sh- Sharon. <laughs> Fucking hell, Sharon. Yeah. Legend, mate. But yeah. it's the thing, isn't it? All right. You're seeing Ozzy Osbourne. Mm. Do you really care? Do you care that Keith Richards has another guitar player side of the stage <laughs> playing his bits? Are you for real? No, I think He's Keith's still not, doing no, it. No, that's fucking true. Oh. That's true. You'll see Keith still does that. <laughs> feel licks here and there there's a fucking guy at the side of the stage playing the guitar yeah. sorry to break hearts out Who's here by the way people but today. you don't care because you've seen Keith Richards playing a guitar sure yeah you know what I mean the live show is one thing but really I'll give it up for Mick Jagger though because he's still he's singing he's still doing it yeah. <laughs> you know he's not my one. he's like oh, it's, uh. <laughs> yeah that's the thing you can't stop me up <laughs> <laughs> you can't sing too well on stage because people start thinking you're fucking morning. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Come on, mate. Give it a fucking rest. We seen who did yeah. we see the other week with who supported Wicked Things? Is it Coda? Coda, yeah. That guy, like props, he can fucking sing, right? Yeah. And then I was like, I was like, came away from it and I was like, he can fucking sing, man. Such a good singer. Probably the best voice for Bet he couldn't dance around and do it though, <laughs> eh? You stood still. <laughs> You're so stealing a living. Nah, some voice, some voice, man. Some voice. But you know, you can't have it all. Do you reckon, Have you? do you dance on stage, Nick? I guess there's a bit of bouncing around. Yeah. And, you know, mm. you try and move with the music. You don't want to be fully still. Yeah. But it's weird. It's like, again, you're kind of sacrificing maybe the sound a little bit. You know, yeah. you're not giving the best performance, at least sound-wise, because the singing might not be perfect. But you're jumping around and... I you know, did, showing I th- excitement. I think it's and on it's the like, gig, yeah. It's like, if half of the gig's what you see, yeah. you may as well sacrifice a bit of the singing if it's going to make the whole thing a bit more interesting. Can you pass me that pillow there, please? Yeah, of course. Uh, not that one. Where's the, where's the Liam Gallagher pillow? Oh, it's, I think, I think it's he's sitting on it. Oh, it's, oh. it's got your arse on it. Oh. Let's do what this fella says. Now. This smells like your arse. Okay. If you want to hear the music, Sound fucking good, then listen to the fucking records. If not, if you want to hear it proper fucking live, <laughs> come to the fucking gig. Proper. Is that what he said? Hughes made up with that clip there, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I know when he goes, oh, that was a good bit of content there, you know. <laughs> that was a fucking TikTok right there, you know. I don't know why he's Scottish. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But yeah, the live thing, man, I think it's like, yeah, you'd rather people enjoy the gig than be like, oh my God, you sounded unbelievable. You know yeah. what I mean? Oh, yeah. there wasn't an off note. People would be like, yeah, fucking oath. I like that bit yeah. where your voice stopped working. Yeah. Like, when you try to hit that note and it sounded like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, it just shows, it's it's like, you know, you're watching, it's like you're watching someone fucking swallow swords or something. Mm. You know, you just don't know what's going to happen. It's like you're watching <laughs> someone balance on a chair or like do that thing where they fucking walk on a tightrope yeah. between buildings. Given when we play a gig, the you know risk of death yeah. is minimal. minimal. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. much lower. I'll say that at least. Yeah, yeah. Than walking on a tightrope. But I guess yeah. half the fun of watching a, a gig live is you know that like anything could happen. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I, I think as a musician watching a gig, I don't, I can't speak for non musicians, but like I love watching them do their craft with all of the possibilities that could go wrong, and them adapting in the situation yeah. and be like. That's like that's skill right there. They're, they're on the yeah. they're on the stage and yeah. the br- the string just broke and then some guy comes out and whatever the PA's feet and back. So I'm gonna stand yeah. over here. A- yeah. Anything yeah. you know, uh, it's how you deal with that shit as yeah. well, isn't and it? And how quickly and responsive yeah. while making it look professional as well. Mm. Yeah, mm. you just start faking things going wrong in our sets. <laughs> <laughs> no, just have a string break and like have someone come out with a new bass. And I th- you just like. I don't Got think it. a bass string will ever break. Yeah, well, that's true. But I, I think I think the guitar yeah, start string boiling your strings on stage, on stage, on stage. Yeah, boil. Them we'll have to bring on a kettle and yeah. <laughs> a little pan stage. and a pot. <laughs> <laughs> Most music venues have got kettles in them. 
Well, that's true. That's a good point. That's another lie. They haven't. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Not kidding. So they found it anywhere in these fucking. Rooms. Never. Nick, when I you say cup, I love a cup of tea, you can't fucking. Yeah, yeah it's got to be. Pull your voice before the. Yeah. 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 Have a fucking beer. You, you Nick, when you say fucking oath, oath so. it makes me feel proud to be Australian. If you do a tour, like a noon, like you should just do the fucking oath noon shift tour. Like. <laughs> okay, that, would, that would move some fucking tickets, I reckon. Oh, I reckon it's it would. Like, <laughs> <laughs> just What's come to the new Fucking <laughs> Oath fu- is a great yeah, name for a tour. Yeah, exactly. That's the f- a fucking great name you for a tour. Fucking Oath tour. Yeah, fucking Oath tour. A little bit like, are you going? Fucking Oath, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, it's just a response yeah. for everything. Maybe Honestly, you yeah. you take that right now. Yeah, yeah. I'm fucking taking that. Oh, that's take yours, that Nick. right now. Take <laughs> that <laughs> right now. Will venues still let us play? Fucking yeah, it was. Fucking <laughs> Oath. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, we're uh, we're just looking to play your venue uh, on our fucking oath tour. Well, just just put it in like just F, uh, like and then do all like the fucking elf. Yeah, fucking elf. Like um, you know the at symbol and then do all like hashtag and then the K at the end. So it's like you swearing, but I just think the F, you know, apostrophe K M. Yeah, fucking fucking. Stuff. Fucking oath. Oh, that's yeah. a great name and for it's, the tour. It's sacrilegious for them not to hire, like to to have you then, because it's like, well, why why don't we want to have them in the pub? Because they use the word fucking oath. But it, but it's Australian, let right? Let me it's introduce. Yeah. Let me introduce you in Sydney. Maybe it should be our first Aussie tour. I'll be like, Ladies and gentlemen, noon shift present the fucking oath tour. Yeah, yeah, fucking oath. Like the fucking Aussiest thing ever. Oh my god. Yeah. Get a Scottish guy to do it for that, like just. <laughs> Yeah. Did you do it with the Billy Conley impression? <laughs> I can't just do it. Hey. Billy Conley! There you go. Hello, everybody! Noon Chef presents the fucking Ulta! There we go. Save that. Yeah. You want to come fucking hype everyone up for us? Oh, fucking I can be hype, man, bro. Fucking yeah, fucking hype. <laughs> <I'm laughs> <bro. laughs> Honestly. See, it works that. for everything. Do that. Imagine the t shirt. Fucking oath. Yeah, like a tour. noon shift on the front, fucking oath you on the are back. You on fire today, right. by oh, the way. thank you. The coffee's kicked Fuck in. You, he's <laughs> he's yes. operating on a different level, bro. Jeez. That mime gag before, top level. Top level. And then you just whipping out fucking oath tour. Yeah, because Nick, when Nick says it, it should be, the, it is like, it makes me feel really he proud to be Australian. He's, and he says it like in this way where it's just like, you should, that's, that, that's a trademark, you know? It's, trademark. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Fuck. when you say fucking oath, I'm like, oh, I, all of my, I see the flag, and you know the <laughs> anthem starts playing in my head. I didn't know I had that much power. Oh, you underestimate you your abilities, Nick. You do. Uh, before we were talking about childhood stars, were you were you were you good musicians when you were kids? Like, were you naturally talented kids? You picked up the bass pretty like late in life. Didn't yeah, you? I actually started playing bass when Noon Shift started oh, okay, becoming yeah. a band, but. My whole life, I've always been into percussion. Um, so, like, rhythmically, like, I've got an ear for that. Um, and for noise. And I've, my grandmother's also a musician. So, I went into music, played a little bit of trumpet from yeah. primary school. Yeah. That wasn't anything. But, you know, I was always in, around it. And then bass went so hard, dropped out of school within two yeah. years of learning bass because that's what I wanted to do. And then, yeah. That's crazy, man. Can I butt in here? Chai is fucking talented. This dude, like... I don't know if we'd say this, but you played like you. You're, he's Brazilian, right? Yeah. And plays like Brazilian music, yeah. and plays playing the drums, topless, running around, freak. Yeah, yeah. I'm a little bit turned on. <laughs> you, haven't even, you haven't even come to see the shows yet. <laughs> Fucking <Fuck it, I'm laughs> fine, I'll be there. Nah, that's a uh, that's cool, man. So at least like, yeah. your, your grandma. So did she, did she teach it a bit, or did you? No, think she it's she there? just. I was surrounded. By musicians Music as a baby. Actually, there. one of Australia's most iconic jazz musicians, Don Burrows, who passed away two years ago or three years ago. Um, he used to play to me as a kid as well. So like I was just around yeah. I was just around professional musicians for a long time. Yeah. yeah. Fucking hell. Yeah. Definitely. And then my dad's shocking at music. Can't hold any pitch. Yeah, but so. he's he's like he's like, You get all your talent from me. <laughs> yeah, that's what they always fucking say. Yeah. Degenerational stuff. Yeah, but you were you're a freak. Like you picked up bass very quickly and then you went on to get like string like five, six string basses and stuff. Yeah, hey. I was obsessed. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like you're that kind of person, aren't you? When you get into something, you, you go whole hog into it. Yeah, you you're definitely right. Yeah. 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 I get I get into hobbies like really intense. And I kind of leave it a little bit. 
Yeah. I do like three months of something. Yeah. And I go, oh, sick of that now. Yeah. I don't mind it though. You kind of like, if you do that, you learn a bit about everything. Yes, mm. that's exactly right. Like, like, no, 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 people no. kind of dog me on that. And I'm like, but I know tell me so who, much. Tell me who's dogging you on that. My missus. Because me and him, we're, <laughs> oh, we're, we're not beating your missus up. <laughs> We are not beating your messes up. It's not happening. Yeah. Fuck it up. Because, yeah, because like you said, I go really into it. Like, yeah. last last year I got super into, like, phone technology and I just watch so many videos about phone tech and then I blabber my mouth to her about what phone she should be getting next. Yeah. She's like, just <laughs> shut up. Like, I'll just get the iPhone, whatever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's so funny. Like, so, like, we do this podcast and then my brother's, like, my brother does a football podcast as well and he's mm-hmm. like, so I, I'll do that with him. And uh, my missus was like, is there not a hobby you can't do a podcast <laughs> <laughs> I was like, shut up. But it's true. It's very true. You've got to monetize you everything you do, you know? Yeah. Everything. It's yeah. something to talk everything. about. A yeah. hobby is something that you're interested in. Oh, you talk about things that you're interested in. If you're not interested about interested in anything, mm. there's nothing really to talk about. I, don't, I love that, though. Yeah. Uh, to be honest, I, like, I got that vibe as soon as you came in. I was mm. like, I bet you this, when you were like, I've been for a run this morning, I was like, I bet you he's a great runner. But yeah, you thought about the skateboard seven. I was like, you've just been outside as a kid, man. Definitely, yeah. yeah I was yeah. raised on the beaches, well, for high school. Mm. So it put me in that environment of constantly doing stuff. I mean, I'm not the best runner. I only do that because I'm also really into eating. So yeah. It's kind of my balance. Yeah. yeah. I just don't do the running anymore. Mm. Kept the eating up. <laughs> yeah, well, summer's <laughs> coming. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Summer's, summer's coming. coming. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what did the manager say? Back. Can we talk about that? Uh, Can we talk about the other day? Can we just bring it up? <sighs> okay. Um, so we played at the Duke of Edmore, and this guy came up after and said, um, Should I say? Yeah, go, go okay. for it. He's like, uh, I work for a label. He's like, I, I think you're awesome. You've got a great voice. You've got like great charisma. I'm probably saying more than he said, but I'm complimenting <laughs> myself. Yeah. You're, really, you're, you're really fucking beautiful. Good. Now, uh, you know, you've got great eyes. Uh, and then he said, but you need to lose like eight kilos right now. <laughs> right now. Right now. <laughs> I was like, motherfucker. I'm like, Audacity I'm, I gave in, it in, in that sentence. gig. I gave it in that gig. You know what I mean? I was moving around. I was jiving. Mm. I was, I was, I was jiving. <laughs> Gyrating. Some other dance move. I was gyrating. I was hip. I was hip moving. You know what I mean. I was dancing. You know it. I was dancing, and then uh, yeah, and I was like, that's like going up to someone fat in the gym, being like, bro, lose some weight. Like, I'm in the gym. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Like, Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. felt you know that the high that endorphin rush after a gig. Yeah, was up there. What label was he from? <sighs> Yeah, was he even from a label or do you just like, all right, let's 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 fucking make this guy feel shit. But if I say I'm from a label, yeah, it be might feel better about it. it you know? yeah. And it was funny, I told my guitarist, Stu, and he went, it's got a point though. It's like, fuck, fuck, look, you start as well. <laughs> Fat shame and me. <laughs> you know, he t- Jack rings me up and then tells me this story and uh, and you were like, and the, and the way that you started the story was going all, all, you know, all good. And then it was the biggest like plot twist I'd heard in like years. <laughs> But you'd be fuck fuck, all right? Yeah. Uh, I wasn't ready for that. Uh, <laughs> neither, I, like, yeah. I thought this was going to be like the fucking first scene of your, what are they fucking, like your Queen movie and shit yeah. where the also, label guy finds you. And yeah. yeah. Next scene you've got a fucking hit yeah. record. No, yeah. next next minute he was in Jenny Craig's. <laughs> Speaking of Queen, he was like, fat bottom Jack. <laughs> <laughs> That's, I don't know what he was fucking singing about. Yeah, it's nasty. Uh. Nasty. So wh- what about yourself, Mum? Was you, was you a good singer when you were a kid? Oh. Did you did you just naturally start singing and everyone in the room went, oh my God, he can sing. Well, I did start singing and everyone in the room mm. was like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought you were going to say like, oh, has that ever happened to you where someone comes up to you after a gig and be like, you know, you lose some fucking weight, mate. Yeah, but you're, you're not in bad yeah, shape. Yeah, you're, you're in good shape. I've just, I've just eyed you head to toe. You're not in bad shape. Yeah, I feel like... You're right. You're a good sort. <laughs> oh, he's a, oh, he's a good sort, isn't he? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, you got big arms, haven't you? It's not one of them podcasts. <laughs> um, mm, the casting yeah, couch. Right there. But yeah, do, like, were you, were you kind of the same like that? Where you know you just just picked up singing, picked up a guitar. Your brother sings too. Yeah. yeah, he started singing before I did. Did yeah. what? Yeah, did he? Did he stand out in the family at Christmas time when you were both singing? He's the better one. Yeah. Or were you? Or is it? Um, not really, actually. No. What you could, better? Because we could. 
perform together. What, ah. what Christmas songs were you singing? Oh, you know, the good ones. Wish you a Merry Christmas. But oh, we know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm six years old, the repertoire's not too big, I'll say yeah. that much. But, yeah. Yeah. Can't remember what we were talking about. If you're a good singer as oh, a kid. You're a good singer. Or, or a musician. Oh, yeah. yeah. What's no, weird well, is I've just started thinking about Christmas. <laughs> Would you practice together? Like, would you sing at home just like, and then try to outdo each other? Yeah. Still do that sometimes. Yeah. Like Danny, he'll fucking, I'll be singing or something and I'll hit a note. He'll be like, let me see if I can hit that. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. It's funny. Me and my brother have chicken wing eating competitions. The same so we're, we're kind of the same. We are, I know what you're saying. What you're saying. It's like one more yeah. chicken wings. How many can you do? <sighs> have you seen me? Many. <laughs> but it's weird that like, some of the fucking best competitive eaters are like stick thin. Yeah. It's weird. Like Joey Chestnut. Mm. You can eat like fucking 76 hot dogs. Because it, you, you have to be and an it's, athlete. It's fucking, yeah. <laughs> to be fair, it is. That is a... That's, it's I a challenge. And have you ever done a food challenge? I guess like the challenge of trying to not eat so much fucking pasta. <laughs> <right? laughs> That's about as far as it goes. <laughs> Don't eat so much pasta. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's so delicious. That's what everyone says. Mm. You know, like you see someone who's like, you know, lost a bit of weight. You're like, fuck, how did you do it, mate? And you want like the good answer. And they're like, oh, I just cut out pasta, cut mm. out bread, cut out fast food, cut out kebabs, pizza. And it's like, so I fucking wanted to hear. I, I think just it's just... Because took a fucking pill and it just... Because those foods... <laughs> the man shake. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's because those foods are so tasty. Like, for me, I've got a separate stomach for pasta. I mm. could eat dinner and then a kilo of pasta. Pizza's delicious. Like, it's because you're just overloading on those calories. Because yeah. at the end of the day, it's just how many calories you're eating. Yeah. And those are the tasty foods that make you eat too much. So basically what we're saying oh, is, yeah. that guy was right, I'm a fat fuck. That's that's what we're saying. Well, label guys. <laughs> yeah, I think like the he labeled be fat. That's what he labeled. <laughs> it's, it's just weird that he said that. Like he never, you never asked him yeah. for advice. He never said what label company he was from. You, he might have come up and slapped a label on your chest and said fat fuck. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I like that. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks. Is one of your hobbies fat shaming people as well? <laughs> Jesus, come on. Look at Chai. He's in good outside, shape. Outside Weight Watchers going fatty. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Sorry, maybe bro. that's what he meant when he's like, "I'm a label guy." It's not. It, he doesn't work for a label. He just fucking goes around. He just labels, labels on people. Just labels yeah. people. Yeah, fucking, fucking, you know who you are, dickhead. Yeah. You know who you are. This is so off topic. But have you guys ever seen the Little Britain skit where there's this lady and she does this like White Watchers class, and she's yeah. like Ooh, really eat some dust, eat some dust. Yeah, that one. yeah, she's like, yeah. she's like, oh, she's like, oh, how, how, how are you? And he's, she's, he's like, oh, I'm here to, I'm, I'm here to lose some weight. And he's, he's like, so when did you know that you were a fat fuck? <laughs> Have you ever been called any nasty names like, <laughs> yeah, B- big belly bumsa, <laughs> so, yeah. big fatty bum bum? <laughs> anyway, just insulting them to not be fat. Mm. Mm. Pain for that. <laughs> <laughs> Cough up the cash and get insulted. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think they knew that. That's what they were signing up. For. Yeah, that's yeah. What, that's <laughs> what the class was. <laughs> yeah. Come are, are you into um to to being insulted? Um, depends. Like, Sometimes. You know, you know, in the boudoir, like, do do you like a, a woman to be, you know, a little bit, a little bit nasty? Ah, depends on the circumstances, right? Like, depends what we're doing. Like if I'm driving yeah. and then and then I You're get an awful gets, driver though. Yeah, and but if I get some compliments in the car, he's, then I'm just like shut up. But if I get he's compl- the worst driver, he's the slowest driver on the planet. What, bro? It's like he's got all the time in the world. You know what I mean? I'm yeah. like, bro, I'm older than you. I need to get places. <laughs> you know what I mean? See, back in the day, I had like undiagnosed ADHD for driving around, for, like always been speed racer, and then then now. I'm a bit more responsible. Just sit on the speed limit because there's a million cameras he sits, around. He sits under the speed limit. Yeah, 10k yeah. under it. Yeah, it's yeah. 80 and he's doing 35 on my bro. Like, oh, look. What I mean. You're pissing <laughs> off the granny. Do you know how much petrol is at the moment? Like, that's I, like I drive a Corolla. Leave me alone. Mm. Corolla. Do you, do you drive one of the hybrid ones? No, I wish. I'm not that fancy, child. We're <laughs> struggle out here. Yeah. You know, Bankstown. Yeah, struggling out here, you know. Yeah. I've got to yeah. ask, if you fucking try and open the garage door, what happens? Well, we've permanently, we've permanently like, 
made it so you can't anymore. Okay. Did you turn it off on the unplug it or? Yeah, I saw. Yeah, it. we did, but then we had to like put in some reinforcements so we could put in the um like the curtain rods and stuff like that, and had to like board it up. And then because of the floods, then we put in some like initiative to make sure that that never happens again. Yeah. Mm. So you speak to the god of rain and said, "Not happening again." No or did you mean like not happening, bro? Uh, no, like we come in here. <laughs> yeah, like there's some like like some uh, like wood blocks across here to like reinforce it, mm. and um. Yeah, I don't know. I felt like this was my little lockdown project and it made me just like feel like I was, you know, learning a trade doing this. I learned how to paint walls, learn how to put fucking tiles on the ground. Fantastic. Probably not as good as I should have, but um, yeah. Sh- shoddy workmanship, if you ask me. <laughs> nah, it looks good, mate. I'm oh. always impressed. Shoddy, bloody shoddy workmanship. So guys, as we, uh, as we start to wrap up, Mm. Uh, what, what else do you want to talk about? You got anything to promote? Anything you want to? Any messages you want to push? Maybe you want to talk about the Queen. Um, I think we've covered that. No, yeah, have we really? I'm Although upset. We weren't allowed to talk about the Queen. You can talk about the Queen. Mm. Her Majesty. Album gigs. Oh yeah, album. October fourteenth. Yes. Just, yeah. That fucking oath. Fucking yeah. oath. Plan plan your road trip. Yeah, for that it. date, so that so you can play the album on yeah. your road trip. That's right. I'm looking forward to it, man. Yeah. I'm not even going to ask for an early listen either. You know why? Because I want you to get the money for it. (laughs) (laughs) What's that? So fucking 0.5, half a cent times 10. I'll leave it on. That's like fucking three cents. That's not bad, man. (laughs) Not bad, eh? Yeah. That's the only reason we did the album. Yeah. Money. Try and make some coin. Are you selling? Are you selling like CDs or anything? Uh, I don't think we're planning to do CDs for this one. Uh, we sold CDs for the last EP though. Yeah, and they did all right, but like we're about vinyl. We would, yeah. We it's expensive to get yeah. pressed, but it's cool. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, it's I, like, they'll sell as well. They will sell. That's the thing. It's like if you do it, they'll sell. Yeah, hopefully. But yeah, you're right. It's not cheap. No, to get it's pressed. Not. You got to get like at least eighty, yeah. hundred done or something. Yeah. And then even then, it's yeah. Do it. Yeah, vinyl. Fucking do it. Yeah, we'll fucking. They'll sell, man. On it, honestly, like yeah. anytime, love that anytime, shit. yeah, people because vinyl's so big anyway. But CDs, I think people appreciate yeah. the fact that you've spent that yeah. for that product, mm. and it makes I don't know, like people buying your merch, it just makes people go, I'll get that, you know yeah. what I mean? Well, these guys are the fucking real deal, I, like yeah. vinyl record. I'll yeah. tell you a story like 12 months ago, we had done this American band. Um, shout out to the uh. The Velvet Starlings, and uh, they came on our podcast, and we're talking to them, and they're over in California. And then, t- and afterwards, we were having this conversation about all these Australian bands, and he's like, "Yeah, man, we just love Australian music, you know." Like, and then there's like this whole underground scene in like LA where they're trading like Australian, you know, new band vinyls and stuff, like Yu Gi Oh cards, like, and it's also like, like they're talking to me about like off cut bands that I was like, "How the fuck do you even know who these people are?" And it's like, "Oh, my friend has like one of their one of their one of their vinyls dude like he, he got it from like this other guy who's brought over all these like australian records yeah yeah and they're like all for australian music and they, he's you know and i was like and he's telling talking to me about the chats and i was like and he's like oh, I love <laughs> and he's like so really what is the real point of like her smoke up <laughs> and I had to explain. <laughs> Could you explain or is it yeah, explain yeah, yeah, yeah. And I had to explain to him like what pokies like were and like stuff like that. And like, mm. and he's like asking me about all these like Australian references. And it's just super weird. I was like, you know, I you guess you just never think about it that way. Yeah, like, you know it. You're not thinking, but it's like, yeah. What? So they're just like, yeah. So what's the fucking? Why do you smell cow? Yeah. So like, what's it's a, what's a weird a, thing? Smell cow. We used to just it's a bit outdated. We used but to just say like it. cup of tea. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Have a cup. Your morning brew. We used to just call that. Depends out. what industry you're in, because it still yeah. exists. It's like an extra break. Smoking? No, I work construction, don't I? You fuckers don't pay us enough. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's an extra break. But <laughs> I love insulting people watching this. You know, <laughs> best way to get new fans. I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> you do construction? Get your fucking money out. Yeah, for the visa. Oh right, for of course. Visa. Also, the tax man, if you just watch that, we don't get paid for this. Tax me. You can't have a dual income if I'm on a visa. But yeah, Smoko is a big one. I can smoke out. Smoke out. It just sounds better than like... 
tea break. They're coming for the morning tea break, gentlemen. Yeah, or just like um, Durry in the car park. Yeah. 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 No, the bloke I work with, I do scaffolding. Yeah. I'll do, yeah. yeah. That's why you got the big arms. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that makes sense now. Yeah, it makes sense. It makes oh, sense. I thought he just had a long lockdown, but. Uh, oh. I'm only oh, joking. I'm sorry. That was a bit off color. Oh, <laughs> like, pretty symmetrical. Oh, I'm only joking. Dude. Yeah. Oh. He must read his <laughs> today, mate. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> on fire. No, I just. Oh, sorry, Nick. No, you're all right, mate. <laughs> yeah. You know. I don't, I feel, I don't know. I don't know. Everybody's entitled to the uh, alone time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not only that. Sadie, see gents, check your balls. That is true. Definitely. Yeah, check, your check, balls. Your balls. check your balls. Check your balls. Yeah. All right, gentlemen, thank you very much for coming in. Thank you. I've <laughs> really, really enjoyed it. No, this. hang on, hang on, hang on. What were you saying about scaffolding, though? I'm sorry, <laughs> having you off. Oh, fucking, like, one of the guys we work with smokes. We're really, like, usually in a team of four or five. One guy smokes, and any time we want to have a break, he's like, all right, go have a smoke. It's like, no one smokes, but it still sounds right. Yeah, go and have a smoke. Yeah, they're going to go have a smoke. I don't have a smoke, but go and have a smoke. <laughs> I mean, he's only missing a letter off it, isn't he? You know what I mean? Oh, he's only missing a smoke okay. out. Yeah, you know smoke what I mean? Out. Just an O. Yeah. Fucking oaf. <laughs> Fucking oaf. Noon shift, everybody. <laughs> Fucking oath tour. Fucking oath tour. <laughs> Noon shift. This has been one of my favourite ones. Thank you very much, oh, guys. Thank Thanks for having us. I, like, I've yeah, really geez, enjoyed this. Yeah. yeah, and check out your YouTube. Uh, they're do you guys are doing a podcast? What are you doing? It's like a podcast, but not a podcast. It's, it's a just podcast? A, it's a weekly update, pretty yeah. much on yeah. what's weekly yarn. what's going on. Weekly yarn. That's up. it. I watched that. Yeah, yeah, I did watch that. So it, it's like not too. It's like almost podcasty, but not really. It's just. Yeah, stay out of our fucking realm. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You stick yeah. to your medium, yeah. Yeah, no, nah, it's, right. it's just short update clips. Keep yeah. that as a hobby. You're not doing, okay? Yeah. <laughs> nah, yeah. thank you very much, guys. Like, you are awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Cheers, guys at home. Oh, wait. See you later. Peace.